All right, thanks for tuning in. So today, uh, I'm going to interview Miss Erica Starks. She is the new principal at Southside Elementary. So I'm going to interview her. And also, I have uh, some video of some little germy kids that's running around Southside. So when I first started as a school resource officer a couple of years ago, like my first year, Man, I stayed sick all the time. So if a kid had a virus or had a stomach bug or something, uh, I always got it because, of course, I was always giving them high fives and hugging them whenever they asked for a hug. So, But this past school year, uh, I didn't do that because I was not trying to get sick. But... Again, because I always find video, uh, I have some video of uh, some interactions between me and the little elementary kids at Southside. So uh, check out my video. Uh, like I said, it's uh, an interview with Miss Erica Starks and then some other videos of some interaction with the kids at Southside. Also, if you have not, go ahead and subscribe to this page and also hit the like button. And you can also hit the alarm so next time I uh, put a video out, of course you will be notified. So so make sure you do that. Okay, I have Miss Starks uh, here with me, so I have a few questions for her. So tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, well, I was born and raised in Hopkins County. I grew up on an old gravel road uh, in Nortonville called Possum Pocket. Uh, I went to high school. I'm a Hopkins County Central graduate, and um, I have been married for 20 years, and I have two children, uh, a daughter named Emily and a son named Alex. All right. Do you have any hobbies? Yes. Um, I love softball. That's my passion. I played it when I was growing up, and um, I was lucky enough to get to be the assistant coach for Hopkins County Central. Go Lady Storm softball. And I also enjoy the outdoors fishing. Um, a couple weeks ago, I actually got to go trout fishing for the first oh, time. Cool. and So that, that was really, really cool. All so. right. All right. nasty stinking hands since you walk out didn't even wash your hands I did wash my hands go wash your hands hi deputy Logan James what's going on how's your day going <coughs> I'm in math class right now but I don't like math <coughs> But anyway, I gotta go. Give me a hug, Deputy Logan. <coughs> Give me a hug. No, no, I passed today. But maybe tomorrow when you feel better, I'll give you a hug tomorrow, okay? All right, all right. So what is your educational background? Um, like I said, I graduated from Hopkins County Central, um, and then I went to Madisonville Community College, and then uh, went to Murray State, and that's actually where I got my bachelor's, bachelor's degree um, in education, and then I have a master's degree uh, from Murray State also uh, in administration. All right. How would you describe your leadership style? Um, <laughs> It's a combination. Uh, I know that there are key leadership styles, and I'm more of a, a combination. Um, my my main motto is lead by example. Um, I would never ask someone to do something that I would not be willing to do. Right. Um, so I always feel like um, if, if I'm willing to do it, then then that's how you lead. You lead Hi, Deputy example. Logan. Good morning. You look extremely tired this morning. I was up all night. Ugh. I was up all night playing Fortnite. 
I'm going to the gym. Give me a hug, please. No, uh, I'll wait till you wash your hands. Hey, Deputy Logan, can I have a hug? No, sir. Not until water and soap or Germex hit those hands. Right. What motivated you uh, to want to become a school principal? Um, you know, when I was in high school, everyone asked you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you grow up? What are you going to do? And, or what are you going to do when you get out of school? And I, I really didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know what path I wanted to take. And um, it wasn't until I took some education classes that I was like, I would really like to be a teacher. Um, I love working with students. And then once I got in the school system, um, I just I felt the need and, and the, the calling to be a principal and just really, really um, love being in situations where um, I can help students and, and help them to be successful. All right. What is the best advice someone gave you after you accepted the principal position? Um, they said, remember to keep the students first. And of course, I always tried to do that as a teacher and being in the principal's role, I know I don't accept the position or, or step into that position until July 1, but I've already been faced with some situations and stuff where it just helps me to know at the end of the day, if you put the students first, then you've always made the right decision. You okay, Bobby? Oh, I'm not feeling well today, but my mom said I had to go to school. <coughs> Oh, well, I hope you get the feeling better. Just go ahead and go to the gym until the teacher comes and gets you. Okay, can I have a hug? No, sir. How about next week when you're feeling a little bit better, okay? Uh, what is one thing you know you want to make better at Southside? Because I'm a member of the community of, of Southside, you know, um, my husband was from St. Charles, I'm from Nortonville, and um, we live uh, in Nortonville close to White Plains. I'm a very community-oriented person, and I know that by making these students who are from this community successful and better, I know that I'm making the community better. So that's my main goal is to to have these make these students achieve and be extremely successful so that they make our community successful. All right. Hi Deputy Logan. How are you doing? Well can I borrow your taser? My brothers they've been picking on me all day and I want to tase them. <laughs> and let me tell you something funny. My dog he ate my crocs. You see my new, my new crocs my mom bought me? My dog ate it up. Not only did he eat them up, he ate my homework. Uh, Alright, here's a couple of fun questions I want to ask you. If Hollywood made a movie about your life who would you like to see play the lead role as you? Definitely Sandra Bullock. She <laughs> is amazing. Um, you never know when you sit down to watch one of her movies. Is she going to be serious? Is she going to be funny? And I kind of think that's my personality too. I can be really serious, but I can be funny uh, as well. So I think she would do a, a perfect job as me. Uh, right. Debbie Logan, do you watch SpongeBob? SpongeBob is so funny. Yeah, but anyway, for lunch today, my mom fixed me a turkey sandwich, uh, some chips, uh, a Capri Sun. Uh, she put all my favorite stuff 
in my lunch box, Deputy Logan. All Deputy right. Logan. And last one, if you could be a superhero, what would you want your superpowers to be? All right. If I had a superpower, I would want to be invisible. Um, for two reasons. Okay, first reason <laughs> would be I love going into classrooms when the students aren't there, but it's kind of hard to catch them, you know, either they're at lunch or, or, but I like, I love going into classrooms and writing little notes on the board and to surprise them when they come back or leaving little gifts on teacher's desk and not letting them know who it's from or whatever, just to kind of brighten their day. So I would be able to do that more if I was invisible because I could sneak around and they wouldn't know I was in there and I could leave little surprises for them just to brighten people's day and also I'd like to be invisible because in my household um, we like to pull pranks on each other <laughs> and uh, to the point where you know one time my husband he took a black sock and a dress sock and folded it up and tacked it on the inside of the cabinet so that when I opened the door it looked like a mouse was coming out at me and oh, no. so uh, we do lots of pranks so I could really pull some pranks on my family if I was invisible. Oh, yeah. Debbie Logan have you ever shot anybody? Deputy Logan, so how many kids you have? Uh, Deputy Logan, uh, I, I, I'm just, I'm ready for school to be over, Deputy Logan. I'm so tired of going to school. I have to wake up every morning. My mom, she comes in there and wakes me up every morning morning to go to school deputy logan oh my gosh and then i have to eat breakfast here and they don't use any seasoning and this the food is not sweet all right now a lot of these questions uh i got from uh social media because i asked some of the parents but um when i asked that question i had one particular question that i want to read to you that you can answer and it is from Stacy Duval. All right. That works here, and along with a few other members that work here. But they ask, uh, they want to know, uh, they said, ask her if she could stock us up some coffee before we come back. <laughs> All right. So it sounds like we need some coffee and yeah. some, some caffeine. So, yes, I'll put that on top priority <laughs> to make sure that, that that is in there and ready to roll. <laughs> All right. See you all. All right. Bye. Thank you. Uh, Deputy Logan, we went to my cousin's house and we jumped in the swimming pool and my brother, he got all excited and he jumped in the swimming pool and the water went and he got all in my hair and then my mom, she really got mad at me like she had to shampoo and condition my hair. Oh, and then we have to blow dry and it just takes so long, Deputy Logan. So when are you going to bring your dog back to school, Deputy Logan? He was so cute, Deputy Logan. And I see you got a new truck, Deputy Logan. When did you get that new truck? I'm so used to seeing the gold car out in front of the school, but now you got that black SUV, Deputy Logan. When did you get that? Oh, okay, well, I got to get out of here. I got to go eat breakfast. Bye.